Hello guys, you Steve here. Uh, just plan on doing a quick video real quick, a uh, quick update video. So, um, as a lot of guys may know, I have not been posting onto YouTube for quite a long time. <laughs> I actually don't even remember when my last video was. But, uh, not entirely true. Well, I mean, yes, it is true. I had not posted for a long time. But for about the last month, I have been posting on another channel. Well, not me personally. Well, yes. But anyway, I have a joint YouTube channel now with my good friend Agri, and our channel is called Heroes Guild Gaming. Um, highly recommend it. So on the channel, we play a bunch of different games together. Uh, we've done, we're doing a Platinum Nuzlocke. We're playing through the Witch's House. We completely played through our Marisa Land Legacy. I uh, recommend that one. That one was pretty fun um, to play. Hopefully, it's fun to watch. Um, I'm currently doing solo videos. I'm playing through another Eden by myself. That is a mobile game. Recommend that one. And of course, as all of you guys have subscribed to me for, we do do Yu-Gi-Oh! on that channel as well. I have done the 10 Yi archetype. Uh, just today, we posted up death spots onto the channel. Um, let's see. I've done the Mayakashi Earthbound deck. I've done quite a few things, although for the Earthbound deck, I prefer pure Mayakashis over standard Earthbounds, and you'll see in the video. We've also done Evil Heroes, although I could have made a lot better Evil Hero build for that, so we might revisit Evil Heroes in the future. Um, but yeah, um, well, God, I was planning on doing, up, doing a duel, well, update, but it's uh, just too frightening for people, I guess. Oh, we know what we're going to rehost. We're going to rehost. Uh, they see my name, they see you, Steve, and they're like, no, no, not that dude. That dude, no, nah, we don't want to duel that man. No one wants to duel that dude. Yep. Oh, my God. I guess I might be doing the update video without a duel. I was hoping to get at least one duel for you guys. I mean, y'all could watch me duel right now going to Heroes Go Gaming, which the name, which the link to the channel will be in the description below. Aha! A victim! Let's do this. Awesome. First we go. So we're running sub heroes because I love running the most, probably the most bullshit deck in the game. Although a lot of people would probably disagree with me. I mean, oh no, no, I thought I hit six. Damn it. Ah, uh, good enough. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't need the extra card. I, I'm giving him a handicap. That's how nice I am. He could have an extra, I could have an extra card right now to beat him with. But I don't need the extra card to beat this man. I might need the extra card to beat this man. Okay. We got Guru. We set Guru over yonder. What's, okay, so he's running a 40 card deck. 15 card extra deck. So he's not just some scrub running nothing. I mean, he could still be okay. Effect Villar, very common to see that. Not wasting my fitness on that crap. Not worth wasting my fitness on that crap. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we extravagance for one card. So this is going out well. This is about a normal video. Okay. So, solid boys, okay. Uh, so foul expression itself, I'm assuming. Uh, so you know what? We're going to use foul's effect. Or we're going to use Phoenix. Wait, why did I use Phoenix to effect there? I'm so bad at this game, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we have something going for us. I'm playing this game horribly, guys. I'm going to lose this game. I'm 100% going to lose this game. <laughs> I, I didn't banish the right amount of cards for sure. Oh, I won! I did it, guys. Oh, God, yes. That's how good I am at this game. I definitely was not going to lose that game. I was in no position to lose that game. As you saw, I 100% had all the advantage on my side. Although he could have went to Valynx and done all of his, didn't get Sanctuary and do all of his stupid plays, saying a great war of gaze negates, attack over my monster. But you know what? I won that game 100% all skill me. I, I was in no, I was in not a bad position at all at any point in that game. Totally my win. <laughs> oh, you know what? One more duel for time's sake. I didn't get shot off the deck. This is current the deck I use IR. Well, it's my main deck I use IR. Uh, right now, I use Subterrors, Trickstars, and Mayakashi. Those are the three decks I use the most right now, IRL. And as everyone who would know me knows, I, of course, still use Gishki. Still my favorite deck. Have a Spellbook variant of Gishki now. Because, God, I like making weird-ass Gishki builds. But, all worth it. You know, if someone doesn't join fast enough, we're just... I'll, okay, there we go. I'll just, I'll just do a deck profile. Uh, I'll still do a deck profile for you guys. Okay, I'm going to go second this time, which isn't advantages and sub-terrors. Since I have my boy, there can only be one here. This card is broken. 
instant fusion for Raiden. Galvanize restrict. Um, oh, the hell, prank kids. I didn't play against deck. Uh, okay. Okay, so I've never played against this deck. I have no idea what this deck does. If this card is Zing Summon, you can add one pick card to on Trout. And then I'm targeting monsters out into your hand. I really wish it's going for. Oh no, they're not. Okay, no, that doesn't matter, I guess. The monsters are, aren't the same type. Although I stat strike, so I would still be an advantage. And then I could port the monster face down, so I'd be actually at a really good advantage if I went first. Um. When this card is activated, I have one Perkage monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, if you fusion summon a Perkage fusion monster to turn damage, you can have all monsters you control gain 500 attack. Even if this card is Once per turn, if you link summon a Perkage link monster, you can have all monsters you can control lose 500 attack. Even if this card leads to field. Okay. So, Perkage weather. If monster attacks, you can activate card effect to the end of damage attack. Turn your opponent's turn quick effect to contribute this card. No fusion monsters, but if your name's Nigger is for some of them, they cannot be sure about with this turn and can only use this effect. Okay. Okay, well shit. I have no idea what's happening. I have absolutely no idea what's happening right now, guys. Okay. Then so with this card, uh there's some in one prank kids token, cannot be attributed during your end phase. You can target three prank kids in your graveyard, except blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, you banish that for something apparently. And that's in the graveyard now. He set a card. I have no idea what happened, guys. What the f is going on? <laughs> okay, so shit happened. That, that's my only description for that turn. Shit happened. Okay, extravagance. We're going to extravagance for six this time because I, I actually need the extra card. Unlike against the Salmon Great player. Did it? Definitely didn't need the extra card against that player. I 100% had that game. Yep. All skill. All skill. Already was prepared for that. Okay. Now we, uh, we're gonna, actually no, we're gonna normal summon my boy here. <laughs> Go on, no effect. Let's get this bitch face down. It's so dangerous to do this. <laughs> Thought my boy finished. What the fuck is this card? Uh, fusion center one pre cage fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters on the field as fusion materials. Okay, that kind of sucks. Okay, oh, he didn't use that fusion monster though. Okay, that's kind of good for me. Okay, all those things do stuff, and then that does something, and uh, we're gonna. Oh, I'm just gonna throw a Mothis on the board right now. That's standard. Okay, so it looks like his cards are awkward. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's Rock, Aqua, Dunder. Dunder, okay. So I can at least prevent him from getting these things back, that's for sure. For the most part. See, you can manage to cover from the shuffle and number of pick kits when you go back to deck, and if you do the attacking monsters, turn these cards to one token. Okay, that doesn't matter with final battle at least. Okay, so I'm definitely going to kill that thing. In fact, I'm going to actually get rid of it right now. Uh, to attack position, I definitely want Fiendus. Yeah, that... The fuck does that do? Okay, well, like I said, I definitely want Fiendus. Okay, I guess he could tribute it to do shit. Oh, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Okay, well, that's stupid. Oh, well, I have cards now. I can stop the shit this time. Okay, Rock, Dunder, Pyro. I believe that's all of his attributes, so I know I'm just gonna lock him out of the goddamn extra deck next turn. <laughs> Fuck this man. Uh, wait, no, let me change. Damn it. it didn't let me do anything during this. Okay. Wait, what? No, I can use... I can use there can only be one game. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now do shit. Mm hmm. Yep. Put them all on attack mode. God knows what that's going to do. Yep. 
Uh, for anyone wondering why I did there, that the, there can only be one play, and I'll explain it to y'all. Okay, so there can only be one makes it so that you can only control one of each type of monster on the board. Then this is for people who don't know this. Okay, uh, well, actually, less than proven wrong. Let me make sure I am actually correct about this. So, to my knowledge, how this card works, he cannot summon anything now. Because all of his card types are Rock, Thunder, Pyro, and Aqua. So he can't summon any of those type of cards from anywhere, extra deck, graveyard, otherwise. I.e., he cannot Link Summon for a Dunder Monster, for instance. Uh, yeah, sure, I can't even stop that. So, so like, let's say you try to Link Summon for a Dunder Monster, right? He can't, he controls a Dunder Monster. So he can't even attempt that Link Summon. Okay. God damn it. Not to think about how I'm going to get out of this stupid situation. Get over the stupid weather one, I guess. Pretty much effectively prevented him from getting anything back. Although, if he has a strike, I lose right here. Like, 100%. He has something. So, I'm, I might lose right here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're going to grab my boy Guru back from Graveyard. In defense position. Nope. Go right back. Actually, no, I should have actually used uh, Monster. But whatever. No, yes, target Guru. Offensive position. Guru is going to go ahead and grab me something. Nope. And we're going to grab... Hmm. Cave Clash. Nah, Fiendus. Yeah, we're going to grab Fiendus. Okay, they're going to want to have Strike. Let's be safe. But for right now, we end our turn. <laughs> He can't do shit to me. They can attack me with that stupid 2,000 monster, but I ain't gonna get him anywhere. Oh, okay, now he can... Now he would have been able to do shit. Oh, okay, no, final battle. He's not getting rid of there can only be one. I mean, I kind of like having my strike, though, so... Sorry, mate. No Twin Twister for you. Ooh, called by the grave. Mm, uh, do I actually want to use that to that? Yeah, I will. Uh, let's see, prevent attack negation. Okay, what else? Wow! Okay, game. Banish, uh, yeah. Resolved, and can't negate my effect. Moss try. Okay, cool. Yep, that chain link didn't work out for him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Subterror, final battle, last effect, highly underway rated. <laughs> they can't at if you activate it, they can't ash blossom your guru. They can't negate your phoenix with shit like called by the grave. Underrated ass effect. Yeah, he's going to take my guru, and I'm going to get a goddamn free search. Or maybe not. I guess not. All oh, right, no effects when that thing attacks. That's cool. Because now I have Mastry. And I pretty much wall this dude for a foreseeable future. And so I feel like I'm in, like, the perfect position to absolutely win, which I kind of am, actually. Uh, she shuffle his face down or defense? Uh, opponent's face down defense, which is a monster into the deck. That's fine, I guess. I get free damage with more ribs. Uh, let's see. If this card is sent to the graveyard as material for fusion links and over Frankie's monster. Because they don't get their effects upon being sent to the graveyard. They get their effects upon being sent to the graveyard for... What should we call it? Effects. So we're going to set him. Flip him. Use his effect. Uh, let's get rid of... Hmm. Yeah, we'll get rid of weather. Nothing's gone. He can go back to Aqua now. Lucky him, huh? <laughs> Wait. No, I don't, I don't need the extra deck in this deck. I should have I should have done this for Guru instead of summoning uh, Archer. That would have been the uh, superior play in this situation. Pyro Dunder Rock. Yeah, 
No, we're going to battle. Archer swings over this dude. I'll leave Dunder on his board so he can't link summon for a Dunder monster. And we're going to attack over this dude. Uh, no. No. I, I would have boosted my attack, but because I already used his effect and I want my Mophis uh, change to, yeah, to face down for his turn so I could have extra disruption, I am going to do that. Okay, so you can't link summon for Dunder Monster, which is his link to. That's pretty much what I prevent him for at this point. Now he has a rock, so now he can't summon rock monsters. Uh, Pyro Link. Okay, but he gets their effect, so he's going to get two monsters anyway. That's fine. I don't know what this card does. It's fine. Pinkard plan. Yeah, that's the thing that starts attacking monsters or something like that. So he has an Aqua on the board now. He can't go for Aqua, Dunder, or Pyro. He can go for Rock. Oh, you go for Dragon 2, I guess. Nah, no, thank you. Yep, okay. Well, that thing's gone now. Uh, actually, I do have a chain to this game, so you better let me chain. <laughs> ah, this tool is growing longer than I thought it did. I've never drawn against this deck. This is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's see, final battle, yep. Chain. No, wait, no, I hit the wrong one. I wanted to change the face down position. Face down position! Oh, well. I guess I wanted my archer to reset her attack. That's why. That's why, guys. No, oh, now I don't want to do it. Gosh darn game. Messing up my whole groove over here. <sighs> yeah, this is a risk, but I need to do this play. Yes, okay. Here we go. Guru time. Let's do this crap. Set. Activate. Nope. Yep. Attack position. Fact. Getting shit done over here. Caught by the grave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Activate. Prevent effect negation. Okay. Uh, we can grab Fiendus. To offensive position. To defensive position, because I don't want to take extra damage. I'm only at 1,000 life. Attack. Nope. And we're going to swing at him with big old moth. Moth dry. Good old moth dry over here. Swing at his moth. Swing at him for 2,000 points damage. Okay. I'm in phase two. Moth dry goes face down. And we are in the control of this game. We set her face down with Phoenix negate. We have a, we have him to stop it. Is, does this burn negate? How long does this negate? Oh god! Until the end of the next turn. That's annoying as hell. Yep. Not letting that happen. Activate. Uh, Twin Trish is gone. He has one card left. And in fact, I'm just gonna put always chain on. He summons a monster. I'm banishing it. It's gone. This game is over, guys. I have one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, yes, there we go. Activate. Change. No, change. Oh, no. Yeah, change the face up. Nope. Yep. Face up. Activate. Gone. Okay, what's your play? Yep, all my monsters are different types too, so I can summon Nemesis for when I'm closing out this game next turn. Regardless, I don't need to summon Nemesis for. Never overextend. You never know how bad you lose. So yeah, he's gonna use that. He was tech with some cards and he draws one. Who cares? Yep. 
Yep. Nope. Guru's effect should come back. Yes. Activate. Target. Nope. Uh, we're going to put it back on normal chain. Flip. Effect. And just to fully close out this game. Oh, I use all my fiendesses. We're always to fully close out this game with the Cape Flash. Flip. I, I'm, I didn't get Cape Flash for the attack, guys. I got it for the added card back from the Graveyard. Guru attacks. It's a card in his hand. Nothing. Nope. Take 16. Cape Clash's effect. Finish back to hand. And there we go. The game is closed out. Nothing in his hand now saves him. Oh, that, uh, yeah, that doesn't lower my shit right. Actually, no, that doesn't matter. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Shuffle all of them back. Mm hmm. Yep. Calculating damage. Yeah, I have a card I want to use. Activate. Uh, yep. Mm hmm. Good game. Yeah, by the way, that combines it. So it didn't matter that he lowered my attack. It becomes a combine of 2,700. Oh, we did it, guys. Oh, that was a good duel. Shit. Uh, God damn it. Let's go through the. Man, let me make sure this recorded for us. <laughs> God knows. I don't want to mess up. So, just quick deck profile for you guys. This is the deck I run. 41 cards. I run 41 because I found this would be my best balance. There's a, there's, those cards are probably removed to make it 40, but I just like this balance of cards 41. You have Mothis, Mosh, three, one Mothis, three Mothra, one Warrior, three Guru, of course. He's the best card. He deserves a holographic reprint. Uh, three Archer, because I love her. She helps out a lot. She gets sent to the, she gets destroyed and sent to the graveyard. She gives you another card back, so she can get you to Guru. Uh, pretty much, you want to get to Guru. Guru is a main card. You get to Guru. You get you have cards that get you to Guru, and Guru gets you to everything else in your deck. Ash Blossom, self explanatory. Fiendis, Omni Negate negates almost everything except summoning. Really good card. She just came on. She doesn't destroy, it. but she also has a special summon effect, so she comes in handy. Like you saw in the previous duel, I used a special summon Guru. Terraforming, course to search, hidden city, three duality, two cave class, cave class to recycle from the graveyard. Uh, the extra 500 helps sometimes, but yeah, you're not always going to use it. But yeah, cave class gets you back from the graveyard. Three hidden city, three final battle, really good cards. You want three of them, trust me. Uh, th three, there can only be one. Another really good card, you definitely want three of. Subterrors are probably the only deck that can successfully run this card really well. And so there can only be one is like rivalry warlords, but you can only control one of every attribute, not one, not only one of an attribute or not attribute, mont type. So you can have one of every type, but not two of a type. And so rivalry warlords is you can only control warriors. Central definition is you can you can you cannot control two warriors. You can have a warrior and a spellcaster, but you can have a warrior, a spellcaster, and a machine. But you can have a warrior and a warrior. You can have a spellcaster and a spellcaster. You cannot have a dragon and a dragon. Can't have that. And as you can see from my deck, pyro, reptile, warrior, dragon, fairy, zombie, spellcaster. I can say I can have one of all my cards on the board, and I won't have to sorry. Like let's say I grew on the board, and I wanted to summon archer. Don't have to worry about it. They're different types. Grew on the board, I want to summon fiendists. They're different types. Behemoths, different types. Not to worry about it. Of course, solemn grade, strike, judgment, warning, uh, indulgences. Two extra draws, except in that first game. Like I said, I only needed that one draw, guys. Sound Man Great Player had nothing on me. I definitely was not going to lose that. <laughs> but normally you'd use it for two draws, unless you're me and you're super confident you're going to win. You could do the one draw. Uh, that definitely wasn't um, that definitely wasn't a mistake. I definitely intended to draw one card because I only needed one. <laughs> and summon limit for hindering your opponent. In fact, if I had summon limit in that prank kid game, the game would have been even easier. But yeah, this real quick, like I said, another thing that there can only be one. So in a matchup, like let's say Solomon Grace in this occasion, they summon Lady Debug to search. I don't even know if they still run Lady Debug. I'm pretty sure they do. Why wouldn't they? P people would run Stratos at one. Anyway, yeah. So they summon Lady Debug to search, right? And they want to go into Veilings, but you flip up there can only be one. They cannot send Lady Debug to the graveyard for Veilings. They just can't. Ve Veilings is a... I'm not... Mixing that up, right? They, how do you spell veilings? Gosh damn it! Wait, I don't know. Salaman 
great. No, okay. I don't remember how to spell these stupid cards. Uh, where are you, stupid Link 1? There it is. Bailings. It's Bailings. I keep saying Bailings. Oh, that's why. The Japanese name is Bailings. It's Bailings. <laughs> yeah, one level four lowers I was sponsor. So they cannot, they cannot use that lady to bug to go into Bailings. They cannot do it. Because, uh, you're not, their account number one says you can't control more than two of a thing. But, you know, like, more, most people would think, uh, if I'm saying Ladybug to the graveyard, she's not on the field anymore, right? And then Bailings came out. But because you control it, you cannot attempt that summon, it would be an illegal move. So, yeah, there can only be one. Also, shuts down summoning from certain decks. And that's why it's so dangerous. Link spam decks that use all of one attribute can get shut down by this card. Or any deck in general that uses one, only one, not attribute, type. Any deck in general that uses one type gets shut down by there can only be one. And that's why cards like Twin Twister are important. But as you saw in the last duel, my opponent Twin Twistered me twice in that duel. And I gave both of them with Fiendus. Yep. But anyway, guys, like I said, this was uh, meant to be mostly a um, uh, channel update, which I did do. And then I had the one game, which was interesting. But just to reiterate my channel update real quick at the end of the video, um, I no longer post on this channel. All my videos are going to be on um, Heroes Go Game. That I have this is a show channel between me and my friend Agri. We play through many different games, and of course, we also do Yu-Gi-Oh. So if you want to check out some Yu-Gi-Oh vids, I already have over there. Uh, please go over there. I please ask you to subscribe to that channel if you're already subscribed to me and support the channel. But um, yeah. So I just. Gosh damn it! Why why am I lost for words here? Anyway, yeah, I probably won't be posting on this channel. For the foreseeable future. All the content I post will end up going to Heroes Gate Gaming. So if I do do solo duels like I do now on my current Yusha Steve channel, they're going to be on that channel. So if y'all want to see duels of mine, even if y'all don't want to watch the gaming content on that channel that I do with my friend, which I would still recommend watching, which is House is a really fun game. Marissa Land Legacy was a really fun game. I do recommend watching those videos. And, of course, I'm playing through another Eden. I would like that video to get views, too. But if you're just here for Yu-Gi-Oh! content, they will be on that channel. So I do recommend you all please go check out that channel. It's called Heroes Go Game. It's going to be in the description. Anyway, guys, this is you, Steve, and I'm signing out.